Okay guys, so this week we're gonna talk about dinosaurs. So I have a couple dinosaurs that I wanna show you, but first we're gonna talk about what a dinosaur scientist is called, and that is called a paleontologist. So what they do is they go on different journeys to different places and they dig up dinosaur bones and they move them to a museum where they put them together like a big puzzle. So see like this Triceratops, I have just this skeleton and he's just a little fake one that I put together. But it took me a long time to figure out what went where because it didn't have any instructions with it. So it wanted me to be like a real paleontologist and I had to uh, see what fit together to make it look right. So, dinosaurs can be a carnivore, which is where they just eat meat, or they can be a herbivore, where they just eat plants. So, I have my different dinosaurs, and this one is one that everybody knows. It's a T-Rex. Okay, this is the biggest, one of the biggest dinosaurs. It's the biggest carnivore. Okay, you see it has really sharp teeth. So they eat meat, so they can eat other dinosaurs, okay? And here is a herbivore and it is a stegosaurus. They have these big spikes on their back to keep them safe and this really spiky tail so that if a T-Rex decides that he wants to try and eat him, he bites down and these kind of poke him and he realizes that that really hurts and he doesn't want to eat that guy. So he just eats plants. Okay, the same thing with a Spinosaurus. They have this to keep them safe. This, this big old fan on their back. And a Brachiosaurus has this really, really long neck that reaches all the way up to the tip tops of the trees to get the best leaves. They, those are their favorite leaves. They're the ones from the very, very top of the trees. And this is a Velociraptor, okay? They have these big claws on their, they have this big toe right here that has this biggest claw. And they only have three toes, which is supposed to make them run faster. So they don't go by themselves. They have to where they're in packs of three and four where they all run together and they chase little bitty dinosaurs. And they eat meat too, so they have the really, really pointy teeth. Okay, and then I have my pterodactyl. This is my flying dinosaur. So my pterodactyl is um, a carnivore too. So he eats fish and bugs. So he's kind of like a bird because the birds that we see are still technically kind of like dinosaurs because they're like the pterodactyl. So they have the big old wings and they fly and they catch the bugs in their mouth and they eat, they scoop up the fish that are jumping out of the water. Okay, so you can see we have all different kinds of dinosaurs that used to live here long, long before we did. And so, um, whenever we go to the museum, we can see their real life bones. So we can see how big they were and what their teeth looked like, and that's how we figured out what they ate. If they had flat teeth, they ate plants, and if they had really pointy teeth, that was so they could eat meat and tear it up and be able to chew it. So we are carnivores, we're not, we're carnivores and herbivores, because we eat chicken nuggets, which is meat, and we eat hamburgers, and that's meat, but we also eat fruits and vegetables, like strawberries and salads and stuff like that. So. Our teeth are flat, but they're strong enough where they can eat meat and plants. So we are called an omnivore, okay? And that means both. So carnivore just eats meat, herbivore just eats vegetables, and omnivore eats both, okay? So what I want you to do is I want, when you're at home, for you to look up different dinosaurs and find out which one's your favorite. And then maybe you can tell me what dinosaur is your favorite. Mine is the Triceratops. So find out which dinosaur that you like the best and send it to Miss Stephanie and tell me whether it eats 
meat or if it eats vegetables and so that I can see. Okay? Well, I love y'all so much and I hope I can see you soon.